in the Tashkent at Eurosoft office. We're Welcome. one of the leading members. So, name and who you are, what you do. Okay, my name is El Tuzar, uh, and I am the project manager here at Eurosoft. So, uh, I'm monitoring several projects of Eurosoft, uh, which is apparently works with authorities of Uzbekistan. And namely, uh, with the Minister of Health. Right. Yes, uh, we are uh, developing the software, the common platform to monitor all financial cash flows right. of the Ministry of Health. And then, so you've been here, you've worked your way up, because I met you first, maybe a year and a half ago. You've been okay. here for at least a year, right? Uh, half a year. Half a year? Yes, half a year. Oh, right. so it's so longer. Yeah, half, uh, I came here at uh, August of last year. I met you then though, didn't I? So I, I was here like sometimes. Oh, okay, that's yeah, why, that's yeah, why, that's why, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I think before then you were coming, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw you like several times, maybe like three or four times. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Okay, so now you're, you're a project manager here. So Eurosoft itself is a, is a what, what type, is a software development company? Uh, the Eurosoft mm -hmm. is a software development company. Uh, so we're, uh, we don't have our own products, but we make um, projects. Right. So you're um, integrating other people's and, and providing an edge. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So the clients, uh, the customers are requesting us to make some softwares. Right. Uh, okay, and we've made uh, a lot of softwares in a variety of spheres in Uzbekistan. Uh, for example, as I said, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Water Resources, um, and also as a Electro, uh, electronic universities, right, um, and many kinds of like online things. universities. Yes, like right. like online universities. Okay, okay. So as Bical, we've set up Bical CA. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the whole thing is we're bringing obviously our product development ideas into 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 the Tashkent market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a number of reasons for that. Obviously, a there's a market here as well. There's mm -hmm. a market in Central Asia, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other thing is obviously there's a local talent. So what what type of programs do you have at the moment? What what skill sets are they? Okay, uh, as of now, uh, we do, we, uh, first of all, we use Python, right. and all our uh, comment, our comment of this, uh, young uh, programmers are the Python developers, right. mm, so the main technical skills uh, coding in Python language, and um, beside this, uh, we also do uh, front-end part of the programs, uh, which is used by, uh, which is used uh, JavaScript. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. And uh, yeah, mm. what else? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's an interesting thing because obviously I know that there's a over there's more people that apply for university that get to university. So there's a lot of people that that don't go to university. Oh, yet, mm. but the skill set is very high. That's what I found. Okay. So uh, how do how do people learn these skills? Uh, we have a bunch of guys. Right. Well, which they're say I haven't studied at the university. Right. But they have the brilliant skills of coding. And uh, and I was really in curious how did they get these right. skills? And they said uh, most of them, most of them, mm, they do self study. Uh, the YouTube, fifty percent? You'd say fifty percent? I guess a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah, because the YouTube is the best university. Right. Yeah. So, it's uh, free. <laughs> and it's free. Uh, there's uh, no limited resources to learn. That's why and our like, guys uh, get all the skills from the internet right uh, from YouTube and even now they are doing uh, they're improving their skills right also they, I mean they don't take the courses the paid courses or they don't go to the university right. to learn this all of this like most of them are self-study wow. and even if they go to university they say most of them they say uh, we get our like this knowledge uh, beside university right what they teach at university it's useful but not what we need right it's better to get like by ourselves. So practical experience. Practical experience and self study is like the best um, practice. No, no, that's great. I mean, and again, that's what I've seen with the the way you're a software. How you progressed? Like, say, you started not as a full time employee. You came. Mm -hmm. uh, when I came here, uh, I was intern. Right. As as, as an intern, and uh, I had like not zero, but really basic skills. Right. For project management. But uh, during this practice, I learned really much, and uh, besides this, uh, I have mentors, uh, our CEO, right, of course. and uh, and other guys. Like they direct me, they show me how to uh, overcome like variety of problems. So that's why uh, during the practice and during this self study, 
uh, I got really like good base base of this project management. And now, uh, if I compare myself to the, the beginning of my uh, uh, journey here, uh, I can see I can completely say that I have I'm I'm confident now. Right. Yeah. Right. I can I can I'm okay to get like bigger projects because I know that I can um, I can and um, and how to say um, so uh, you I'm, can manage you can yeah, plan. yeah I can manage this and I'm fully okay with this right right no no I mean uh, and again I see your English thank you for your English is actually uh, okay. is very good <laughs> and hopefully we will help you practice that more um, yeah that's, that's, that's really good. yeah um, and like I say Tashkent itself as an area is just fantastic and again I think in a way, it's good for me. There's not many tourists here, no. but obviously, I think Tashkent will change. You know, more tourists will will, will come. Yeah. If you had to advise mm -hmm. somebody, uh, for instance, my um, co-director Jazz will be coming hopefully in, in ten days or so. Mm -hmm. Where would you say are the best three places to go in Tashkent? In Tashkent only, or the whole back? Let's say Tashkent. Let's okay, let's say Tashkent. Okay, uh, there's a lot of modern buildings, right. but I guess uh, that would be not. Inter more like not interesting for the foreigners no. because there's a like enough that kind of buildings yes that's why I would recommend you to visit our historical places and uh, of course to uh, get some information before like visiting that places um, for example Hast Imam right uh, this is a like, complex of Hast Imam there's a really like, historical uh, buildings complexes uh, which were used as a teaching place, which is like in Uzbek it will be madrasa. Okay. Yeah, madrasa. You can go there. Uh, also, um, okay. Let me remember <laughs> where, where you can go. I know. Uh, I know one place which is very good where they do the clog near the um, near oh, the tower. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a very good Osh, place. Osh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, please uh, visit for sure. For this sure. Must best, must think, visit yeah, place. Yeah. Is our national cuisine um, is a, like our um, like one of the main points for tourists because lots of like, foreigners are like they always say it's, like really tasty mm. uh, and this is a must to visit place must do yes. yeah yeah I think that's the best um, uh, plov uh, in, in the country. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so so that, that that's um, uh, obviously like I say in terms of what uh, you are doing and mm -hmm. obviously what what we're here for as well. Obviously, you're in Tashkent. There's more international feel, I think, in terms of obviously what Eurosoft are doing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, your CEO Murad is obviously you know, conducting the company a certain way. We're here as well, mm -hmm. so there's an internationalization. I think obviously the ministries as well now mm -hmm. they're more outward looking. They're trying to get obviously BPO, you know, sort of outsourced services yeah, yeah, happening as well. Okay. And obviously, I think we will use some of the, uh, the Tashkent and Uzbek people for projects we're doing in Sharjah oh, mm -hmm. that we're doing in the UK. Where do you see where do you see Uzbekistan mm -hmm. in four or five years time? Okay, uh, I can tell you that Uzbekistan is um, mm -hmm. like the the policy of Uzbekistan is really um, like use a big accent for IT. Right. IT uh, um, IT in general. Right. So our president actually um, gives a lot of attention to improve the the not sphere but everything IT like right so that's why I can say that the Uzbekistan uh, will be um, I'm sure for like for 80 percent that it will become the IT hub right. in Central Asia right that's why uh, and uh, as, as a result I can say that a lot of foreign companies are coming and founding their like uh, uh, I forgot the word um, base headquarters Office? Yes, yes, offices. Yes, right. let's say offices here in Tashkent. Right. Uh, for example, let's uh, let's give an example. Mm. Mm. Exadel. Right. So this, uh, this is one of the like not small company which is situated in USA. Right. Yeah, Exadel. Uh, a bunch of Turkish companies. Right. Yeah, Turkish mm. little companies coming. Yes, in, yeah. are coming here. Uh, some of uh, Slovenia's companies. Also from Dubai, right. for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so and, and a lot of from Russia, 
also from um, Ukraine also. Right. So that's why uh, the Tashkent is a uh, is uh, becoming the place where all these like big companies are joined. So that's why in like in like ten and like five, five ten years, Tashkent will become uh, one of the like, uh, in strategic in the meaning of strategic important place important like point mm -hmm. you know, worldwide level ah, okay okay no, that's good i mean like i said the, the, it's definitely got the um uh, the platform right you've got mm. youth right as you see, there's many young young people here yes yeah there's many obviously like you say the work ethic and mm -hmm. the way that people are self self-learning mm -hmm. yes. is, is very good right and right. also in terms of obviously like i say the um uh, the historical uh, again i don't know uh, i think sometimes uh, like the uh, Mr. Algorithm, Al Khwarizmi. Al Khwarizmi, Al right? Mm -hmm. right? He's obviously from Uzbekistan, right? Yes. But I don't always hear that that much. I, obviously, we've seen it, um, you know, his, his pictures in certain places. But even that that historical um, element of what you know, where AI is going, uh, artificial intelligence is based on the algorithm, isn't it? Yes, algorithm, so, which so is founded by Al Khwarizmi. Exactly, right? right? So <laughs> yes. that that histor history also. I mean, there's all more into astronomy mm -hmm. and other things as well. Mm -hmm. But obviously, in terms of the the uh, Al Khwarizmi, that's definitely a uh, historical factor here isn't it in terms of that i don't know if that i don't know if that's influential or that's um, like a role model for of course it. yes big influence <clears throat> um also uh, there is a it school mm -hmm. which is named al khorizmi okay so it's stated like near to the center of tashkent right right so um, i advise you to visit there mm -hmm. this is a real modern school where the youngsters are taught right so more uh high qualified the so highly skilled uh, IT programmers are like will will will, will come like in mm, I guess in like next year right because it it, it was founded I guess uh, like three years ago yeah it's quite new isn't it yeah, yeah it's yeah. quite new yeah. but um, yearly like six hundred students are taught right yes and that's why like in near future real near future close future we can like we'll have lots of uh, skillful programmers. Right, right. No, no, no. Thanks for that. I mean, like I say, I, I, I see there's a great um, opportunity in, in um, within Uzbekistan. Yes. But also you working with Uzbekistan for other mm -hmm. other other countries. I think you know obviously the comparison is always made, like say with India. Mm -hmm. you know, obviously the BPO <clears throat> and things like that. But I think having uh, uh, diverse programmers, mm -hmm. you know, having a different obviously Indian background, having Uzbek, having you know, from different countries, it helps more. You know, there's, there's plenty of opportunity to create product. Yes, plenty mm -hmm. of opportunity, and obviously Everybody's what we're trying to do is bring in high performance compute so you can build product here. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so thanks for the for the time today. Thank you, <laughs> and uh, and we'll catch up on the next one. Okay. All right.